Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the new AMD Radeon R9 295X2 dual GPU graphics card. Right off the bat, I can assure you it will perform. Now the R9 295X2 features two R9 290X GPUs on a single PCB. As you may know, the R9 290X is a really hot running card and now AMD has put two of them together on a single board. How would you cool this card down? Well, as you can see, this card doesn't look like a typical one and keep in mind, this is AMD's reference design of the card. We've never seen anything like that from AMD before. But to answer the question on how this graphics card gets cooled down, a single red fan is used in the middle, which by the way, is lit up by red LEDs when the card is on. The main cooling is done by the water cooler featuring two Acetec pumps. A 120mm radiator is used here. The whole card is very heavy because of the metal construction. The shroud is out of metal and on the back of the card there even is a nice black metal backplate which helps a tiny little bit with cooling but mainly is there for PCB stability and looks. When looking at the PCB you immediately know this card has performance to offer but also is a power hungry card. Two 8 pin PCIe power connections are required. As for outputs, there's one DVI output and four mini display port outputs. I don't know what you think, but I really like the way this R9 295X2 looks like. And here are the specifications of the AMD Radeon R9 295X2. 2 times 4 GB of GDDR5 video memory, Hawaii GPU, 1018 MHz boost clock, 1250 MHz memory clock, 2 times 2816 stream processors, 2 times 176 TMUs, 2 times 64 ROPs, 2 times the 512 bit bus width, 2 times the 6.2 billion transistors, 500 watt TDP, 28 nanometer process, and the launch price $1,500. On to the benchmarks. Alright, as you saw yourself, the AMD R9 295X2 is a beast. Definitely the fastest single dual GPU graphics card for now, at the time of this video. In terms of performance, it can be compared with a pair of R9 290Xs running in Crossfire, but the 295X2 is a bit more efficient when it comes down to performance alone. You get a little more FPS than with two 290Xs. However, the price is really, really high. This card runs fairly quiet, by the way, and doesn't run hot at all for a super high-end graphics card. The power consumption is what I expected it to be, simply high and pretty much the double of a single 290X. In terms of aesthetics, I really like that card, and performance, no question, it's amazing. Even though the price is very high, for people that have the money and the wish, I'd definitely recommend the AMD Radeon R9 295X2 graphics card. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit Nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.